Greetings again. Welcome. Glad we get to be together for another Devo today as we're traveling through Romans together. We're going to be in the fourth chapter, and uh, we're picking it up in verse 17. It says, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. And this is uh, a statement that was made um, by God to Abram, Abraham. So that's, that's the idea of who we're spe- who's interacting on this portion of Scripture. And it was made in the presence of him whom he believed, he believed God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. So that's really active faith. Um, God's speaking something and us receiving that and knowing that God can bring it to pass. God speaks things into existence. That's that's what happened with uh, the creation around us and the universe around us. God spoke it in Genesis into being. Man, the power of God's word, huh? That's really something. And by faith, we believe that. We accept that God can speak things into being, things which do not exist as though they did. To God, sometimes I have had God God make promises and speak something to my heart that I think, man, I'm gonna believe God for it. I can't see how, I have no idea how that would happen. And then I just keep following him, believing that he's gonna do what he said he'd do, and then he does it. And as it peels back, it's like, wow, I never thought, it's this crazy journey of faith that we go on. But isn't that the truth of our lives as we're following the Lord? who, contrary to hope, this is Abraham himself, who, contrary to hope, in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. And this is the thing, he had no descendants. He had, he had no direct offspring at the time this is spoken to him. He had no children. And God saying, no, so shall your descendants be. And he he is old now. There's no hope of him having children with Sarah. There's no hope of that happening because their their bodies aren't able to function like they used to. And so reproduction isn't isn't likely the case. And but he's believing God for it still. And not being weak in faith, verse 19, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb that she she's past child they're both past childbearing years you know uh, to be stated simply he did not waver even though God spoke this and it seemed like a physical impossibility on their end he says he did not waver the promise of God through unbelief but was strengthened in faith giving glory to God Now, we know there's a whole lot of storyline with this that's not being stated. Isn't it great how in grace the the New Testament is reviewing because of all of God at work? Because Abraham did ultimately believe God for it. But there's also Hagar incident and other things in there where he tried to do things on his own. And and it didn't really, Sarah and him did, and it didn't go turn out too well. But but the idea is, is that the Bible's remembering not the, the, the failures of our humanity, but where we did rely on God, how God honored that. So it's the gracious review, isn't it? How God looks at things through grace, the lens of grace. I, I just want to interject that for a second. But... Um, he did not waver at the promise. He believed. He trusted God for it. His focus was not on his own limitations, but he believed God for it. And then he also um, was strengthened in faith. I think that's awesome. Giving glory to God. So he worshiped the Lord also, you know, believing God. You know, he wasn't focused on his own limitations. Um, he, he trusted the Lord in this. He kept his expecta- expectations high. And then he let God do this. And God, he continued to worship it. And being fully convinced that what he had promised in verse 21, he was also able to perform. Isn't that great? As we give it to the Lord, the agent at work, that God is able to perform it. You know, There are many things that you and I will face in our journey as we follow the Lord that are going to be very challenging, and we're not going to see quite the outcome of how it might be, but we can believe God that God is at work and that God will accomplish His purposes in and through our lives as we just follow Him, believing that He is able to accomplish what He desires. God bless you as you contemplate that wonderful truth of an active 
faith.